Hey guys, it's Alex and today we're going to be messing around with Donnie. I wanted to get back to making the kind of videos that I got, I want to say, best known for. Um, small tuning tweaks that really um, enhance your driving experience. On this car specifically, because it has a looser converter from Circle D, a 2B, it has a built power by the hour transmission, 18 manifold, P mass cold air, LU 47s and E85, and a set of drag radials, it drives pretty close to stock except a looser converter. Because the converter is looser, when it commands a lockup, it seems more severe. Now, depending on throttle position, you can leave it in a desirable position where the car drives, you know, a certain way. But there are also cases where you almost wish the converter was not locking. And a lot of the changes in the calibration make it lock at a mile per hour that's, let's just say, lower than when you desire a lockup. For example, a lot of um, calibrations in fourth gear lock the converter like at, I don't know, 21 miles an hour and that's not what you want you have to then stab it unlock it and get going so what i'm going to do is i'm going to upload a custom tune on this thing with a lockup schedule that the torque converter does not lock until you are wide open throttle in third gear over 100 miles an hour everywhere else it's unlocked until fifth at about 60 and six gear at about uh, 59 miles an hour. So it'll lock in fifth and sixth for fuel economy. You're not racing in fifth and sixth with a six R80. That's should be pretty self-explanatory. So I'm going to do that and I'll see how it goes before that. I'm going to drive it, show you how it goes. Uh, you probably won't notice a difference, but I'm going to show trans temps to make sure trans temps aren't going crazy. I'll do a roll. I'll hear, feel, listen to where it's locking. I also have the drag. I might do a draggy 60 to 130 or something the, you know, maybe eighth mile hit. That's smarter. Eighth mile hit. So I don't get caught by the cops going 130. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to see, uh, by tweaking the torque converter, see if it's a better driving experience. And then, you know, if in the future, somebody wants to, you know, get a tune that's similar, I'll already know what to do. Okay. Trans is up to temp. It's 150. So let's see how the lockup schedule is. Second gear. Third. Okay. Boom. Immediately locked up. So that means that in third gear, the lockup schedule is a very low mile an hour. Okay, let's try that again. I'm just gonna give it a little pedal, nothing crazy. Boom, see how it drops severely? That means the lockup schedule, third gear is probably set to 20 something miles an hour. So I'm gonna move it up out of the way so it doesn't lock in third gear until I am at wide open throttle, and over 100 miles an hour. So then it'll go, whoa, go into fourth. And then in fourth, it should lock at around 60 miles an hour because at wide open throttle, I'm not going 60 miles an hour. Uh, in fourth gear, I'm you know, top of third gear is like, I don't know, a bazillion. So let me find somewhere to park, make my adjustments, and we'll test it out. Came here to make my adjustments because there's a camera there, just in case I get jacked. Uh, there'll be uh, evidence <laughs> so like let's adjust let's make third gear doesn't lock up until way later on the rpms so i called it lockup schedule so load tune lockup e85 flash and we'll see if third gear stays unlocked and then i still have the old lockup schedule in the engage so i can do some draggy testing too to see if there's any gain whoa jesus see if there's any gain uh, by doing that, but I don't think so. It's more for drivability and a wide open throttle. The converter lockup is going to be delayed on this tune till 100 mile an hour. The other one will lock up like a little earlier, so I can do back-to-back -back testing on the draggy. Like, I don't want to do drag race. Let's say roll because dra drag racing is a fucking, it's tough to do in this area. Okay, the way I'm going to have it set up is third gear is not going to lock until 100 miles an hour at wide open throttle. Fourth gear is not going to lock the converter until 55 miles an hour. Medium throttle position, I guess. Sixth gear, fifth gear won't lock until 60 miles an hour, and sixth gear won't lock until 65 miles an hour. Again, it's all throttle position based. And again, remember, it's gear per throttle position per mile an hour. So it's kind of hard to explain it, but I think visually you'll understand what I'm talking about. So I'll flash it too, see how it goes slow down so what i'm looking for is to the rpm to stay high and just kind of have a normal driving experience while just normally driving let me put the window down so you can hear it and we'll go second third staying up there nice
That is beautiful. I like that very much. I'm gonna be a little more aggressive with the pedal and try it again. Sorry about the sun, but a little more aggressive pedal to see if it stays unlocked and where it needs to be. stays unlocked and the shifts are still firm because you have the pump turning at a higher RPM causing more fluid pressure. So I think the acceleration up to 100 can be quicker, again theoretical, with the converter unlocked than in this particular application than locked. And again, part throttle, wide open throttle, it's gonna lock where you want it to lock really. So one more time. shift on the second uh, the third see I can't do what here then I'll floor it and by the time it hits 100 it should lock I mean feel strong in the middle of the turn there feel strong so I don't know I could try a dig run, see if I can get into the 11s, and if the driving experience is favorable because the converter is not locking super early, I'll leave it as is. But if not, I have the other tune on the end gauge, and we'll go from there. I'm gonna take off in regular traffic, see how it feels. It's traffic, see? Third gear already. Fourth gear, beautiful, staying high. Should lock around 50 mile an hour. Fifth gear. Actually, that's fifth gear. That's sixth gear. Now that's nice. There it is. There's your lockup at 65 miles an hour. That is absolutely wonderful. Exactly where I want it. It, it glides through the gears nicely. It stays high in the RPM. Maybe not awesome for fuel mileage, but just the driving experience of having a looser converter not lock up really early uh, is nice. You can accelerate quickly because the RPMs are high. Remember, Coyotes love high RPMs. So in my opinion, they need to stay in the high RPM. Sorry about the glare. So I'll drive it a little while longer. Uh, trans temps are great. They stay within 170 to 190. They've been like that even when I had the other lockup schedule, so I don't think this is causing any extra heat to the transmission. And just to kind of prove what I'm saying is you'll notice that the RPM dips are not as prevalent. As you can see, this is the uh, just a regular drive, you know, th low throttle position. Pedal doesn't probably go past 20%. Um, Let's see where pedal is. Yeah. Pedal stays nice at about 24% at most. Let's see, max this out. Okay, so pedal stays at 25% at most, and slip desired, and look at where the slip happens. Probably top of six gear. Let's look at the gear commanded. Yep, at the top of six gear, at what mile an hour? We're looking at 66 miles an hour, right on the money. 66 67 mile an hour the converter locks up and it goes one two three four five six one two two three three four four five five six and the converter does not lock up look at this nice little boop boop i might extend the one two two three shift out a little bit just so it could look so it's you know rhythmic if anything but again this is only if your tuner is willing to make these changes. I'm not going to say that Lund is willing to make these changes. What I'm saying is, Lund will probably be like, no, you know, an NA car, Gen 1, we like the shift schedule where it's at. This is not, have it your way. It's not Burger King. So they might, you know, say, hey, if you want custom changes, it's going to be more money because they have a vetted file. But if you have control of your own situation or if the tuner, if you're willing to pay a little extra, I'm sure maybe your tuner or others are willing to make these changes. But the fact that 
no slip is happening up and I mean this you know this is just converter coupling remember I'm not commanding a slip because slip desired is checked off and that is slip desired right here I am desiring no lockup okay so this downward movement in the slip is the converter coupling itself yes the converter with centrifugal force actually couples harder with more rpm so the fact that it's not locked in the tune does not mean that it's not coupling properly so this thing might you know zero to 80 mile an hour be real good without any kind of locking and then when you have plenty of rpm and the car's far down the track and you're at high rpm you can then command a lockup and then maybe get a little mile an hour out of it but from the from zero to 80 i think the natural coupling that it is doing I think, let me change the color of the coupling because I want to make sure you guys see it. See, I want to make sure that you guys see that when the converter is gaining an RPM, more RPM, less slip. So the converter actually, you know, couples or starts to couple better with more RPM. You don't necessarily have to tweak every single little dumb thing in the tune. So hopefully this video shows you a couple of things. Number one, the command isn't necessarily the end all be all. The characteristics of the converter, if anything, dictate more how the car drives. So if you have a very loose 4C, 5C, or something else, well, the tuner is gonna have negligible control of that situation. As you can see, all I was able to do is command a lockup later after 65 mile an hour at low throttle position. At wide open throttle, I can't command a, a, a sooner lockup but at the end of the day, I don't think it's gonna gain me much. I'd rather let the converter couple on its own, naturally, based on its characteristics. And then when, when I need a lockup or the data suggests I should lock the converter in a low power vehicle, uh, I'll go ahead and tweak and do so. Again, guys, not all of your tuners are gonna wanna make those changes. They're not gonna uh, all of a sudden tweak every single little thing because depending on the tier of tune that you bought, you buy like an NA tune, it, a tune is a tune, here you go. And then if you buy a remote session, then you know we can tweak some of the things depending on the type of converter that you bought and if the tuner is willing to make the changes. So don't think that just because you hit up somewhere like I work for, Lund Racing, that just automatically gonna make changes to your car because you saw this video. Do not assume that, please. I'm just doing this to give you guys data and you guys like these technical videos where we make changes to see how the car likes it and then show you the data log that backs up that claim. Thanks for listening, guys. We'll talk to you later.